I have an iPhone. I have mixed feelings about Apple. I do. On the one hand, and so I've created this very complicated graph. On the one, on the x-axis, you have lickability. Lickability being I pick up Apple products and I go, oh man, this thing's good enough to lick, which is a sort of an embarrassing comment. But <laughs> so it's new in my life. But it is also something that says something about these products. I can't always define. It's ineffable. There is something about what Apple does that is true genius. They make products that are lovely. They're wonderful. They, they're good enough to lick. They're like, mmm. <laughs> and, so, and yet, this other MP3 player, I don't even know whose it is, it, it is utterly functional device that probably does more, does less. It sells, I mean, Apple owns the market. Now, you could make the claim that Apple owns their marketplaces because they satisfy, they, they, they fill your stomach in a much better way. They don't just deliver the product. They deliver the service to download the product. They take all the issues out of the supply chain. They put you in a position where the whole thing is seamless. And let's face it, technology never works, does it? Right? It just doesn't work. My I've been in technology for 25 years. Great thing about the software industry, we used to say, was that it didn't really have to work. Yeah, we didn't say that to the customers, we just kind of muttered it to ourselves, you know? It's like, it's like the software industry is like shipping a refrigerator where version one just holds the product, right? And you know, the upgrade will cool, you know, come, come back. And we're gonna like do two things, you know? It's like a shelf with cold for version two. What makes Apple unusual is the fact that they imbue in their products a desire to show pe other people the product. And at the same time, you, you'll wonder, because an iPod has a sealed in battery that you can't replace, that frequently dies, that is a shorter time period to play at a higher price where you buy less of the rights in your music than you did when you owned the physical deliverable. Some people would view that as the evil empire incarnate. I don't, as it happens. So please don't chop that sentence up in the wrong way. Um, and yet, it's always an and yet, there is something about their products that are wonderful at the same time that in fact they deliver not as much. Remarkability is this. It's the building into the product or service itself. And just because you're doing good does not mean you can't do it well. The fact of the matter is, people need to desire what you deliver. And it, the, the mere fact of doing so is in and of itself important. Because it is what will create the free money that you then do not spend on persuading people of what you're doing. Products can sell themselves. I have seen it before, it rarely happens. It happens when you think about it in front of the product, not afterwards. 